Mahavira, also known as Vardhaman, was the 24th Tirthankara of Jainism. Lord Mahavira said, anger begets more anger and forgiveness and love leads to more forgiveness and love. What a flowing truth. Ocean of ideas just said that one could anger begets more anger. Yes. Anger means destruction. Destructive mentality. If you go for destruction like the power corrupts absolute power corrupts absolutely. That kind of a anger and it destroys you also along with that. Anger begets more anger means the power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely means including you and the one which you're going to grab it also gets destroyed totally totally yes what lord mahavira said was so much involved that the negativity anger begets more anger means if you get disconnected from that family is that anger and the disconnection creates the gap the gap widens bigger and bigger Communication gap is the greatest hurdle of any development. That communication with your family, with your joint family, the family tree is what Lord Mahavira kept on saying. And the Jaina community understood it very well, but not any other community. They took this quote and then talked only about anger. He was trying to explain anger begets more anger, means more gap. And the gap, you in that gap, you you couldn't catch all of your family to get them together. So you go and catch a friend, a stranger. And that's the start of your destruction. And which benefited the, the gangsters who call themselves the richy rich, the robbed richy rich. The, the present day political mainstream, the government departments, I do not know from which alien country those people came, their language, their style, all is hurting too much. They were the, uh, are they acting like the new Britishers of our land? No idea, that needs changes otherwise. Whatever hard labor has been put to build up massive big bridges, roads, planes, all those things, vanishes. Lord Mahavira said, anger begets more anger. Remember that anger is not what you are shouting. It has got nothing to do. It is just a small dirt, the nail of the finger. That anger is that disconnection of your family. It is very, very dangerous that you do not speak to your family. That uh, as a man, you never ever touched the eyes and opened the eyes, took the face in your hand and looked deep into the eyes of your beloved mother or father or wife or husband or children. The day you don't, I'm asking you not once in a while, every day without fail, every day without fail. And if you do it, success, if you don't do it, you are the cause of the destruction. And forgiveness and love leads to more forgiveness and love. For, first of all, a lover don't know what is forgiveness. Because first of all, he doesn't take anything. Buddha was traveling from one village to another village. And before he could reach another village, somebody went and told the village, Buddha is a bad person. So they all prepared. So when Buddha reached the village, everybody started attacking Buddha. They started throwing rotten eggs, used a lot of bad languages. 
And after one hour, Buddha just looked and smiled at those people. The head of the village came running to Buddha and said, Buddha, we heard so many things bad about you. And our people were provoked to attack you. I was watching this for one hour, one hour of non-stop abuses. And you just smiled, you never answered. What is it? And Buddha said, suppose you give me a gift and I don't accept the gift, to whom does it go? And the village had said, it goes back to the same person. And he said, all those things what they said, if I don't accept it, to whom does it go? <laughs> Forgiveness. First of all, there is no forgiveness. There is no, the person who is a lover doesn't know whether it's uh, this or that, good or bad, what people are talking, whether the dog is barking for anger. For, for, a, for, the, for him, the dog is talky. He tries to love to feed or talk to the doggy, to the cat, to the birds. Sometimes the doggy will attack, still he goes to another doggy. He doesn't keep a grudge to go forgive the doggy or hit the dog. No, forgiveness and love leads to more forgiveness and love. No, 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 you don't even have to give forgiveness. People are thinking when Lord Mahavira, the Mahavira said forgive means oh, something as if you are going to give a big amount of money to somebody to serve. What is forgiveness? You have not become strong. When you become so strong, where is forgiveness coming? The word forgiveness is only in the, the English dictionary. I think Lord Mahavira's quote has been quoted from the, from the English dictionary. Forgiveness. Love leads to more forgiveness and love. First of all, I don't like the word forgiveness. Love leads to more love, yes. Love leads to more love, yes. That is beautiful. And you can find it when you're doing exercises, heavy exercises, or you start punching on the back. More, more you punch, more, more you get power to hit. More, more you practice mathematics. Mathematics goes deeper and deeper. Your calculation becomes so powerful. More, more you read philosophy, you go deeper and deeper. Such is the power of the love. Anything you go deeper, you learn with full of happiness and happiness and um, love. You can see a lot of path is opening. When you get so much of path, where is your time to forgive somebody? Like the saying goes in India, if somebody catches your pants, remove your pants and run. The idea is don't fight for a pants because you are a path maker. You can open so many paths and feed a huge amount of poor and help them to reach and understand their power. What is a pants? Give it to them. Don't wait for them because as you go forward, you get you can get more pants or as you go forward, you don't need even pants. Nakedness is, because the truth is naked. Why are you holding on to the borrowed knowledge of the pants? When I was in Japan, one Japanese man told me, Japanese master told me, in India they are telling somebody catches the pants, leave the pants and run. Stupid! No, 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 leave, leave the pants. Give, leave the pants and the underwear also. <laughs> like the Zen master on the foot of the mountain. And he went for a bath. He came, he saw a robber. The last drop of small thing. First of all, he doesn't have anything in that hut. Some small things the robber was taking and running. The Zen master clapped at the robber. Robber st stopped. He turned around and the master had only one towel were wrapped around his waist, he removed the towel and he lifted it up and showed to the robber and said, please take this one, this is the last one I have as material gift thing in my hut. Who knows tomorrow you might need, you have to come back for this one, take this one. The robber for a second looked at the nakedness of that master. 
for a, for a second, multiple satoris happened, he became enlightened. He dropped his robber, he became a disciple of the master, he became the greatest master to serve the people. So the pants and the underwear is not the thing, it is your nakedness of your happiness is your love. Love leads to more love and you can love. You have the power to love. But when you love, work hard to make yourself very strong and connect to your family. That strength only can love and show love.